Send you a friend request. Do I know you? Oh, I think that's Heather's cousin. Met her like twice. Sure. Okay. Just kind of wanted. To, uh, that's why I got on Facebook. I wanted to share that picture real quick. Welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Rob. And I'm Graham. And today we are going to be reviewing and testing the McAllen 10 year, which obviously, as you can see, we've already had some. Yeah, this stuff's good. <clears throat> it is. Depends on who you talk to. That's true. McAllen is one of the most love hate relationship type of yeah. snatches. I think it's because they do a lot of advertising that hmm. they have the, such a high standard because they are so well known. Okay. And they have to live up to that. So then right. people taste it and like, nah, yeah, that's not as good as it. they tell me it is. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of the way radio music is nowadays. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. McCown yeah. I mean, is radio, perfect. Yeah. Radio music nowadays, you hear the song over and over and over again, and you're like, yeah, I'm not buying that album. <laughs> Remember so, LimeWire? I do. Remember <laughs> Kazaa? Cause I, no, I, I used Kazaa. I used LimeWire a lot. And then uh, Napster. Napster? I remember Napster. <laughs> Never got caught. <laughs> Never got caught, neither. <laughs> Anyways, this is the, like he said, 10 year fine oak. This is gonna be triple cask oh, matured. Fine oak. Okay. Yep. So we did the 15 year fine oak yep. about a week ago. That was good. This is gonna be a space side scotch. Not gonna go into a whole lot of McAllen detail because yep. we have already, but okay. McAllen's very well known. And again, has high standards, so that's why some okay. people hate this and some people love it. Okay. Ten years is going to be about forty-five to sixty dollars, depending on where you can find it. We're lucky enough to be able to get it for the forty-five mark. Yeah. And for forty-five, I think it's a great, a great scotch. Oh yeah. But yeah. I know some people look at it, say a ten-year for that kind of money. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And if you haven't checked out our fifteen-year yet, go see that. Right now. Right now. Anyway. And uh, finish this one, then go back to that one. Yeah. We're going to finish off this bottle. Yes, because and we have another bottle somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Again, great, great bottle with the broad shoulders. Oh, Just yeah. love the feel of it in the hand. Yep. It's like a genie in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Like, uh, what's her name? Christina Aguilera. Back in the day, I think I liked Britney Spears more than Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah. And there's the bottle. If you guys want a chance to win this bottle, we'll mail it to you for a small <laughs> fee. We'll even sign it for you. <laughs> Appearance, it's gonna be a, a, it's it's not dark, it's gonna be more of like a pale straw, but it's not overly light. It's like a, yeah, it's, it's got a nice gold color to it, but pale to some of the other scotches out there. It's got a wine color. Like we mentioned in our, in our McAllen 15 video, this is gonna be all natural. They proclaim that right on the box. Oh yeah, and you can tell too. It's important to them. I enjoy this nosing more than I do the 12 year, the 12 year, year double oak, and the 15. It does smell. It's very Pretty. sherry flavored. Pretty heavenly. Fruit. It's like a relaxing I feel like smell. I'm floating in the middle of a galaxy. Yeah. That's a great feeling. Some, some hints of like a, like heather and honey. Yeah. Just very pleasant off the nose. And I know this gets a bad rap, but this is my I don't favorite McAllen. Good I'll music take, is good music. I'll take good the 10 year all day. Scotch. And I think a lot of it is just because it says 10 on it. That some people, they just have that opinion that nothing under 12 is is good. But this is yeah, amazing. Prost. Prost. Very sweet, fruity, soft notes. Mm, very sweet. Sherry on the back end. Yeah, it's got a a good balance of oak and fruit. And yeah. have you ever had a? It doesn't taste like a Starburst, but I'm sure you've had a Starburst to where you bite into it and your mouth just gets juicy. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm getting is. here. It's like yep. a juicy. And this is this is cheap enough where I'll just sip on this. You know, at night watching a uh, basketball game oh, yeah. or you know a football oh, yeah. game, whatever. Oh, yeah. This is not something that I feel like I have to preserve. I feel like I can drink it whenever I want, and I feel like it's good enough to drink whenever I want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Notice beforehand we had just a little bit in there. Yeah. 
and we've been watching videos on oxidation and what that does to whiskeys and how long do they last. You know, and that's up for debate. Most people say about a year after you open it, if yeah. you keep it in a dark, cool place, it's and you don't break the label, mm -hmm. it can last forever. It can last forever. It won't keep aging. Though. Hundreds of years. It's not going to age like wine does. No, no. It's just it's, it's gonna, not in those casks. It's, be it's fresh. not in the yeah, not in the sun. It's not. But once you open it, and then the oxygen starts to right. get in contact with that, it's going to start oxidizing. So the further away. down you are, the less the well the the more it's going to kind of wear down. Right. Thank you. Thank and you. the oxygen is yeah. going to take to it. So you know, there's things you can do like drink it. Yeah. I like just <laughs> and, leaning on this. But no, it's great. Feel like I like I'm, just kind of like having the arm here and be like, I feel like I'm on the patio. But yeah, so they say about a year, which kind of scares me because I like to collect a little bit and just yeah. have them sitting there. And, and you feel rushed. I know. I don't want to feel rushed. Like a cigar and whiskey, you cannot rush. No, no. You have to enjoy it. There is this spray. It's for a wine that I actually purchased on Amazon. Let me look it up for a huh? It works for huh. liquor. Wine and it doesn't mess with the flavor or anything. No. And we'll try it and we can review it too. Okay. It's called it's called the Private <laughs> Preserve Wine Preserver. And preserve for a set of preserver. two of these aerosol cans, it's about seventeen dollars. Help prevent oxidation of your fine wines, liquors, and even cooking oils. Huh. So what you do is, if we had a little bit in here yet, we would take the cork off and we'd spray and then quickly. It's got, it's like a WD-40 yeah. can. You'd spray in there and then quickly. And what it does is it separates the oxygen from the scotch oh. and it should last longer. Yeah. So we're gonna give that a try and we'll review that. Yeah. You now the other thing you can do is you can blend scotches and that's not really a purist way to do it. But if you had, if you had some McAllen's that were empty, you yeah. could just pour them all into one. And oh wow, yeah. I don't know. That's kind of weird yeah, for me. That is really but, weird. Or you can pour them in smaller bottles. Like I, I feel like I'd be wasting. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of oxidation? Does it something you are concerned with? Do you do anything to prevent it other than, hey, just drink your yeah your scotch before the and, year? And you know what? There might be people out there that, I mean, you might only have that much left for the next two years, and maybe people, you, you still taste something. Maybe they just don't give a crap. They yeah, think, I mean, oh, it's still, you know, McAllen. Back to the 10. <laughs> one of my favorite, it's going to be one of my favorite scotches. I have to say. Yeah, it's good. I, I would say it's my top three scotches. I would think you would really like this one too because it is the sweetie. I sweetie. do. It's I would, sweeter. I would put McAllen at my second favorite scotch. What's your first? Johnny Walker. Okay. I would say Johnny Walker is my favorite. We have the green to review yet? We have the green to review yet. Would you purchase this? I would, definitely. And you said 40? 45. 45. Score out of 10, what would you give the McAllen 10? McAllen 10. This was my first McAllen love. I would give it a nine. Straight nine. And I know I'm, a, I'm gonna be in the minority here, but I would give this a 9.4. And that's just because this is gonna be my favorite non-peated scotch. And it's cheap. Is this that, is gonna is be that, that uh, 43, here? I believe, by the way. 40% right here. Hmm. Was it you that said, feel like a giant holding this? Yes. <laughs> we encourage you to go try this. Uh, if you can find it at the right price, I wouldn't pay 60 for it. I'd pay yeah. 45. It's a good scotch all day to start long. with. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Good for a 10 year. I would keep, I do keep this in my, my ba. Thanks for checking in with us. Yes. Check out the McAllen if you can. Let us know what you think. Like and subscribe. Please. 17 away from 100. Yes. Can't do it without you guys. We love ya. Who knows, by the time this video goes out, we might be at 100. Maybe, because it might be a while. Might Probably be a like while. half a week. Yeah. So that's like, what, three and a half days? Half a week? Yeah. It is. Oh, that seems really short. It is. So it might, might be, be like longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've, had, we've had fun with you guys, and we always have fun, and that's why we do this. Yes. I do love your shirt, by the way. I mm. must say. It's neat. You guys enjoy the rest of the week, and as always, we'll see you soon. See you soon, guys.